Your ophthalmologist has suggested surgery to repair your eyelid condition. You may have an eyelid that turns in, called entropion, or you have an outward turning eyelid called ectropion. In either case, surgery is needed to treat the eye irritation and problems these conditions cause. With entropion, the eyelashes and skin of the eyelid turn into the eye. They rub against the cornea, causing pain and irritation. With ectropion, the lining of the inner eyelid is exposed. Tears do not drain properly from the eye, leading to tearing and discomfort. For both of these conditions, surgery can restore the proper position of the eyelid. Surgery for entropion or ectropion is usually done as an outpatient procedure. You will be given either a local anesthetic to numb the eye area or a sedative that relaxes you during surgery. Your ophthalmologist will recommend the best option for you. To repair an eyelid with entropion, the eye surgeon will make an incision at the outer corner of the eyelid and along the eyelashes. Sometimes the incision is made on the inside of the eyelid. Then the surgeon will tighten the tendons that normally hold the eyelid in the correct position. If entropion is caused by scars or an earlier surgery, the eye surgeon may graft or surgically place a small amount of tissue from another area of the body. This helps loosen the pull on the eyelid caused by the scar and repositions the eyelid. This should stop the skin and eyelashes from irritating the cornea. To repair ectropion, the eye surgeon may tighten the tendons that normally hold the eyelid in the correct position. He or she may also remove a tiny piece of eyelid tissue to bring the lid back toward the eyeball. If ectropion is caused by scars or prior surgery, a skin graft or tissue from another part of the body may be used to relieve the tension caused by the scar and help reposition the eyelid. After surgery, the incisions made in the eyelid are closed with stitches or surgical adhesive. As you heal from surgery, it is very important to protect your eyes from the sun. Stay out of the sun as much as possible and use darkly tinted sunglasses until your eyelids have fully healed. Your eye surgeon will tell you how long this is necessary. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with surgery for entropion or ectropion. Eyelid surgery side effects and complications can include unusual bruising or swelling after surgery, severe dry eye, bleeding from the incisions, infection, pain, sensitivity to sun or bright light, difficulty closing the eyes, scarring, need for adjustment or additional surgery, change in vision, either temporary or permanent, possible blindness, and problems from anesthesia. You do not have to have surgery for your eyelid condition. In some cases, you can use artificial tears and lubricating ointments, or have fillers or injections to help relieve your symptoms and restore the health of your eye. However, it is likely that only surgery will permanently correct the problem. If you choose not to treat your condition, you have a higher risk of having eye health issues and possibly losing vision. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she recommends eyelid surgery for you. If you have any questions or concerns about the procedure, ask your ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the benefits as well as the possible risks and complications of eyelid surgery. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or your vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.